Hi, welcome back to another video by Educators Singapore. So today we are going to look at something which is called the product rule in differentiation. So product rule by itself has no meaning, but it just makes differentiating complicated functions uh, easier. So, so the one which is indicated in the red line, this is what we call the product rule. So suppose you have a function which is the product of two different functions. So you have a function u and v, which you'll see you can choose whichever is u and v later. But if you have a function which is a product of two different functions, and when you differentiate it, what you get is you first uh, you get the first term, which is you leave one of the the f well you leave the first function untouched, and you differentiate the second function, and in the next one you do the opposite. You leave the second function untouched, and you differentiate the fun uh, first function. So all these may look a little bit complicated, but it's much easier if you look at an example. So uh, let's look at this function where y is equal to x squared plus one times 1 plus x whole square. Now the thing is that I mean you can actually multiply out the terms and expand it all but it's just gonna take a lot of time and it's not really worth it. So y this is a perfect example of using the product rule. So in this function I mean we can assume that this is u and this is v. So what it works out to be is basically u times v square or you can take this whole thing to be v. So let's just keep it like this. Okay u times v. So the first first term is u, second term is v. Okay, now now our formula tells us that we leave the first function untouched and we differentiate the second function. Sorry. So we keep x squared plus one. See, it's completely untouched, and then we differentiate the second functions. I'm not differentiating it yet, but I'm just writing out the terms just for your convenience. And then you leave the second function untouched and you differentiate the first function which is d dx of and I'm kinda of running out of space there and x squared plus one anyway now let's start looking at differentiating the things okay so let's start all the way out here so you have x squared plus one and then you have learned using the chain rule how to differentiate something like this you learned using the chain rule so this would probably be if you differentiate something like this this is works out to be 2 times 1 plus x now this is your first term u times dv dx now the second term is that 1 plus x squared is remains untouched as you've seen untouched and then you have d dx of x squared plus 1 now the d uh, the derivative of x squared plus 1 is 2x so this works out to be x squared plus 1 take the 2 out here 1 plus x plus 2 times x times 1 plus x squared sorry it's 1 plus x whole square so basically this is about it how you use the chain rule we shall just look at, at another problem try to make our understanding a little better okay now as usual I always go to problems which has square roots in it because you know square roots are pretty scary and it just scares students so suppose I have a function which is x times root of 3 plus x square now how 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 would I do how would I solve this okay so again as I said I I take this to be u and I always take this to be v okay now just for my dv dx is not as straight cut as possible so straightforward as possible so we just gonna do that der derivative of dv dx separately over here first just so, so that we don't go into the problem and then get stuck okay so my dv dx is given by so it's d dx of root over 3 plus x square now this is some place where we can go back and apply this uh, chain ch chain rule again we are doing a problem with product rule but we can always apply chain rule into our problems so let's take u to be 3 plus x square so now our v is u to the power half so okay let's not call it u anymore because it, it, you can confused between this u and u, let's call it say uh, s so our v is s to the power half okay 
so now from our chain rule we do know that dv dx is dv ds times ds dx this is just a simple chain rule instead of the u I'm calling it s so that I don't confuse it with the u of the product so now what do we get and look at it dv ds s is s to the power half so if we differentiate it with respect to s we get half s to the power minus half time ds dx so if you differentiate this with respect to x we get 2 times x so all I'm getting is dv dx is equal to so half half gets cancelled x times root 3 plus x square this is my dv dx now we go back to our original problem right so y is equal to x times root over 3x plus 1 so it I think it's just better if I try to do the problem over here so all I get over here is uh, I should be getting u dv dx plus v du dx so my u is x so this keeps untouched I just found out dv dx to be this huge complicated thing x divided by root over 3 plus x square plus now my v remains untouched my v is root over 3 plus x square and times du dx my u is x so if I differentiate this with respect to x this turns out to be just 1 okay so so all I get is 3 plus x square so x square on the top plus 3 plus x square so this turns out to be 3 plus x square times 2x square on the top plus 3 so what I have here is the final answer so over here we saw that we use the product rule but at some point of the product rule we needed to use the chain rule again because it was not a straightforward uh, straightforward equation or a function so and then we combine the both together to get our final answer thank you for watching this video